Hi guys. So it is currently 11.30 p.m. And we just got back from having dinner with Brandon's cousin. So right before we went out to dinner, I actually blocked out time to edit this morning's chat. And literally like two hours before, um, I try when I tried to edit, ended up losing all my footage from this morning. So that's why I'm here with you guys now. Um, I still wanted to share what I wanted to talk to you guys about this morning. And I feel like it's been a while since we've chatted only because you know the last two days i did that makeup decluttering i'm so sorry that this is late but i wanted to you know connect with you guys even if it didn't happen in the ideal time that i wanted it to while i was out and waiting for the train i like wrote down a few things that i want to talk to you guys about that i kind of talked about this morning so i got a comment from a viewer uh either yesterday's video or the day before and she was sharing a bad experience she had with Glambot. And according to her comment, she was saying how the she didn't feel like the company was being very transparent. And she sold like a bunch of high-end stuff that were either brand new or barely used. And she uh, made like $75. And she sold about 35 products. So if you average that, it's about like $2 a product. And... Um, I mean, I guess I just wanted you guys to be wary and you, I don't want you to be disappointed if you decide to go through the Glambot website to sell your used makeup. Um, what else? Oh, and I did email them also because I had some questions. Like I wanted to know if they buy back skincare or if it was just strictly makeup. And I wanted to double check that lipsticks were okay to sell as long as it wasn't a lip gloss with like an applicator. And the other question that I asked was, um, you know, I wanted them to give me a little bit more detail on the earnings. Yeah, so let me show you what they said exactly. I don't, I want to make sure that I get this right. I said, can you provide more details on the earnings? The earnings table lists 20 to 350 dollars for 25 to 50 items and i asked how is that calculated for example can you give me an average price per foundation press powder sunscreen etc and she said uh as for earnings we're unable to provide estimates for this at this time so i don't know now i was kind of thrown off by that um response if they said something like hey we can't give you a quote because you know we just don't know the caliber of what you're trying to sell i feel like i would have been a little bit like oh, okay so i talked to brandon about this and basically he said well the two options are you toss your makeup and you make nothing or you send it to this website and you make a little something and the same viewer that left the comment about the bad experience like she also mentioned like if you just want to get rid of the makeup and make a little something, like Glambot would be a good option. But if you're looking to make a huge profit, like don't expect that. Anyway, I guess my point is if you are considering selling your makeup on Glambot as an option, um, I think it's important to just manage expectations. And I would hate for any of you guys to have a bad experience with them because, you know, I'm sort of recommending this to you. But again, I just don't have any personal experience with it. And if you do, please share. Please share. Like, I'm hoping that one of you guys has a good experience with it. <laughs> so the other thing I want to talk to you about is the whole yoga thing, the yoga challenge. So I haven't been perfect. I actually didn't do yoga yesterday and I didn't do it on Christmas Day. And for me, my struggle is usually very all or nothing. And it's easy for me to be like, well, I already messed up, so I might as well just quit, you know, because I didn't do it perfectly. But the lesson that I learned is even if it's not per perfect, I want to learn the importance of just keep pushing on. And so I guess I wanted to encourage you guys if you feel like you haven't been great with it or you know it's too late to start it's not too late to start and wherever you are you have the advantage of like from now on from this point on you can make that change so i just wanted to i guess remind you of that in case you're struggling with keeping that commitment even if it's not yoga whatever it is for you the other cool thing that i want to share with you is <sighs> two days ago i actually really didn't want to do yoga but you know i wanted to pull through it with my commitment to you and to myself 
And so I got on the mat and I remember Adrian, yoga with Adrian. She mentioned like the earlier days of the 30 day challenge. She said, if you can't get your feet flat on the ground in like perfect downward dog position, like don't even worry about it. Even if you're on your tiptoes, it's fine. And one day when you least expect it, after you know you build on your practice it'll just happen and then she shared how that's how it happened for her too it was like oh my god i got downward dog and two days ago i finally got my downward dog now this isn't the first time in my life but since the last time i did yoga um i realized how inflexible i've become because i've stopped for so long and uh i finally got downward dog two days ago and for me it was like it just happened and I wasn't trying or getting mad at myself. So that was a really cool learning. And the other thing was, um, I guess I was really happy that I took the tiny step of committing to doing the yoga practice that night. And it was an unexpected reward for me to accomplish the downward dog. And the other thing it made me realize is you can't expect big changes overnight, right? And I'm learning the importance of taking making small changes and that building over time like that creating the momentum and eventually the results will follow there's actually a book that i want to read called the compound effect and that's exactly what it talks about it's making these tiny little changes that seem like it won't make a dent in anything but those changes building over time um, for long-term success i have the book let me show you so this is the book the compound effect Jumpstart your income, your life, and success. This is no gimmick, no magic bullet. Little everyday decisions will take you either to the life you desire or to disaster by default. And I've only read about this much. So I was thinking, would you guys be interested in reading this book with me so that we can have a discussion about it? Or let me know if you've already read it. And if you did, um, I'd love it if you could share how it has positively impacted your life. So yeah, for me, it's like, okay, not one single yoga session isn't going to make me the fittest person on earth. But I think just consistently practicing a little bit every day uh, will definitely yield um, discipline and results that I can't see right now. I know if you guys are enjoying the 30 days of yoga with Adrian, I saw uh, an upload from her a few days ago and she talked about how in 2015, she released the 30-day yoga challenge that we're currently doing. And starting January 1st, 2016, she is releasing another 30-day challenge called Yoga Boot Camp. So if you guys are enjoying doing yoga with Adrian now, it's really exciting that there's another thing to look forward to. So just wanted to update you on that. And the last thing that I was kind of pondering and I would love your feedback on is I was thinking about my channel and the things that I share and the things that I believe in and love and I wouldn't classify my channel as a beauty channel and you know for me it's important for me to have a focus or if other people that aren't familiar with my channel like if they were to ask me like what's your channel about I always find myself like not knowing how to answer that question because I feel like I just kind of touch base on so many random things so the question I wanted to ask you is how would you guys describe my channel to your friends? I think your input would really help me to be aware and give me more clarity just because I know I can be really hard on myself in terms of what I am and what I'm not. So I would love you guys who basically make this channel. Like we wouldn't have this community if it wasn't for you guys. I would just be talking to the camera, just talking to myself. So... Yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. And I just want to thank you again for um, doing life with me these past, I don't know. It's been, I started on the 9th. Today's the 30th. 30th. What is 30 minus 9? Oh my god, I had too much soju tonight. 30 minus 9 is 21. <laughs> it's about three weeks. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for doing life with me for the last um, 21 days. I'm really looking forward to diving into 2016 with you guys. Thank you for your time and for sitting there and, you know, whether you're getting ready or like doing squats watching this video or just doing dishes or whatever, just I'm really grateful. Yeah, so I'm going to end it here for tonight and I will see you guys in the morning tomorrow.
good night or have a good day. I guess good night for me. <laughs> Bye.